Transit Tears is a company that we have seen going crazy over the last couple of weeks. This thing is up hundreds of hundreds of percentages, and it just seems like this thing cannot be stopped. Now, this company made its debut on my channel about two weeks ago when its stock price was sitting at $1.16. Now, if we do come up here and we see that whenever that was recorded, it was about January, let's see, what was this? January 8th, and from then, it has grown up to 225% since that recording was made. Now, when I did first originally purchase this stock, I did update my Discord. I let them all know exactly that I was going to be making this move, and I also let them in on all of the information that I was going to be basing my investment off of if they were in the right tier from the Patreon. So if you are interested in getting updates about these videos, and if you are interested in being in a community of over 100 different investors and traders who bounce ideas off of each other, talk stocks, talk penny stocks, and talk everything related to investment and trading, definitely consider going down to the description below. It's going to have a link to my Patreon, and that is where you can have full access to all of this very transparent information. So with that being said, let's talk some Transenterics, ticker symbol TRXC. So recently there was a website that we will go into in a second here whose analysts did make this rating a buy for TRXC. Basically some analysts, they will have websites that will be either buy, hold, or sell, and they'll kind of base their predictions on what the stock is going to do, and they'll say that they think that you should either buy it, you should sell it, or you should hold it. Well this very specific website is one that I use quite often, and the rating system is one that I do base a lot of potential and investments off of so I'm very excited to see that it has now been rated a buy so we can see here that the website that I am talking about is actually nasdaq.com now this was published earlier today so it's honestly not too too long ago it says that investors might want to bet on transenterics as it has been recently upgraded to a Zach's rank number two buy this upgrade is essentially a reflection of an upward trend in earnings estimates one of the most powerful forces impacting stock prices it says that a company's changing earnings picture is at the core of Zach's rating the system tracks the Zach's consistency estimate the consistency measures of EPS estimates from the sell side analysts covering the stock for the current and following years. Now, individual investors often find it hard to make decisions based on rating upgrades by Wall Street analysts, since they're, these are mostly driven by subjective factors that are hard to see and measure in real time. In these situations, the Zach's rating system comes in handy because, uh, because of the power a changing earnings picture in determining near stock price movements. Therefore, a Zach's rating upgrade for Transenterics basically reflects positivity about its earnings outlook that could translate into buying pressure and an increase in and its stock price. Now, the Zach's rating is one that I do pay very close attention to. I have seen in the past that the companies in which they label as a buy, a hold, or a sell have pretty typically reflected whatever the analysts did rate. And so that was why I was so, so, so excited to see that this company that I'm invested into actually go up into being labeled as a buy from this website. So with that being said, I think that that could be a very, very positive outlook because these are no slouches whenever it comes to rating and deciding whether a company should or should not be purchased. They do their research, they do their diligence, and whenever they predict their earnings, and whenever they predict, okay, do we think that people are going to push this thing up or down, they are very, very accurate. Now, of course, they are, at the end of the day, human, and so we can expect that there will be volatility, and they could be wrong about this thing, and it could just tank $2 over the next three days. But realistically, it is a very important to see Transenterics not only gaining traction within the news, but gaining traction among these analysts as they are starting to upgrade their you know outlook on this company to being a buy. Now, there is a reason why they solely focus on earnings projections, especially whenever it comes to penny stocks. It says that the change in a company's future earnings potential as reflected in earnings estimate revisions has proven to be strongly correlated with the near-term price movement of its stock. That's partly because of the influence of institutional investors that use earnings and earnings estimates for calculating the fair value of a company's shares. An increase or decrease in earnings estimates in their valuation model simply results in higher or lower fair value for a stock, and institutional investors typically buy or sell it. Their transaction of large amounts of shares then leads to price movement for the stock. So one thing that we have seen recently with a lot of these institutional investors is that they do pay very close attention to what the fair value of a stock, you know, a, a very new stock, especially like a penny stock, they pay attention to what the fair value of the stock is and we do see loads of direct offerings we do see loads of financial agreements and we do see honestly just insane amounts of big institutional investments into these penny stocks especially recently now the reason that this is so important is because say a company like this one whose earnings estimates may go up really really high if an institutional investor decides that their overall fair value for the stock might be what it's trading at or even above it that could be a pretty good catalyst to see the stock start to gain a lot of momentum momentum going forward and not trigger a massive sell-off if the institutional investor is like well realistically the fair value of your stock price is probably a dollar under what it is now for a company that might only be worth four dollars 
that's a big difference. And we will see that, that you know, the stock price start to work its way down to whatever that institutional investor typically offers the stock price at. So I think that is super important. But not only that, we start to notice that whenever a company has earnings projections like this one, and it's starting to say that their earnings are doing well, that is very appealing to institutional investors. And that could bring in even more capital for Transcentia. And the reason that is important is if we jump back into their SEC filings that were released in November, we can see something that is very, very key. So right here, we can see that the ability of the company to continue as a going concern is dependent on the company obtaining an adequate capital to fund operating losses until it becomes profitable. In order to continue as a going concern, the company will need, among other things, additional capital resources. Traditionally, the company has raised additional capital through equity offerings, including raised net proceeds of $13.5 million in the March of 2020 public offering. So what that means is that this company's big risk recently, especially in their last quarterly report, was that they didn't have enough money and they didn't have enough capital to fuel their ongoing operations. Now, what they had been doing in the past was using a lot of these different offerings and using a lot of different investments or financial agreements to fuel their operations to try to get to the point of being profitable. So if this company, and if you know, if you go back and look at Zach's rating, if you look at Nasdaq.com, if the earnings estimates are starting to grow, that means that we are potentially seeing this company's financial start to get on a better page as we can start to see them earn a little bit more. This could potentially mean that they may not have to go so heavily into doing all of these different offerings and be able to rely on their revenue and rely on their earnings as a source of capital rather than having to dilute their shares down. So it will be interesting to keep an eye to see, okay, is this company starting to really get back on track with its earnings? As we have seen in the past that they're selling and what they have been trying to do has not been the best. Selling their systems has not been the easiest and they have definitely struggled in the past, but they have started to get CE mark approvals and more FDA approvals and all of these different things that will allow their consumer base to grow. And that could be a direct reflection by the stock price as their consumer base and their potential is growing substantially. So this is all speculation at the end of the day. I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. So if you are going to invest in a penny stock, make sure you do understand all the risks. But I do believe that this company has loads of potential. And this Zach's rating, in my opinion, for me as an investor is a very, very good sign. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. If you do agree or disagree, I would love to hear it there. If you did enjoy today's video, if you found it valuable or entertaining, you could let me know by smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel if you are new. I post two to three times every single day. So I hope to see you all soon. Peace.